Omar Ahmadi is the deputy director of the Center for Syrian Studies at the University of St. Andrew. He joins us now live from London. Omar, thanks for taking the time to speak to us. This is truly a stunning change in U.S. foreign policy, not least because the U.S.-backed Kurdish forces have been America's most reliable partners in Syria. Tell us a bit more about that. Well, yes, uh, I think uh, it shouldn't be really a surprise because we've heard about this uh, over uh, possibly a year and a half. Um, President Trump has uh, implied that he's willing to do this. The Kurds uh, were caught by surprise. They decided to negotiate and it was the Syrian regime. Then uh, it quieted down and now it's back. I think it, it would be a mistake for anyone to really feel that they can trust a cohesive, principled American policy in the region. There, there is none. It, it's, it fluctuates, and it, uh, it has a lot to do with whatever particular security interests may be at stake at a particular moment. So to build upon this, uh, the idea that uh, you can have a region that is protected and possibly create a, a nucleus for a state is, uh, is, is proven to be a, a very significant mistake. Now, we're talking here about a thousand American troops so, who are already pulling out from the region. What kind of effect will this have there on the ground? Well, I think to, to a large extent, the presence of, of American troops is symbolic. It's not so much how many they are. It's, it's the idea that they are there. And because they are there, then there are limitations on what others can do. Turkey cannot advance into an area that has even 20 American soldiers, uh, let alone 1,000. So, so in, in so doing, when, when they withdraw, they're given a green light. And the green light then creates... And this, this notion of, of a safe zone is, is, is ancient. It's, it's about eight years old. We've been hearing about Turkey wanting to create a, a safe zone for refugees, for Syrians. But, all, of course, it's also trying to push back what it regards, you know, because in, in the eyes of Turkey, to have Kurds as close to its borders and then there's Kurds on the other side of the border, then this creates, uh, you know, a security uh, problem in the sense that they might come together and, and, and in, entirely re redraw the borders of Turkey as we know it. So, so this is how, you know, the, the Turkish uh, geopolitical prism of, of uh, you know, of how to see this is, 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 is playing out. And um, so there, there's so much at work. But, but what's really ironic, if, if I may, is that lost in this story is, is uh, you know, the, the very uh, basic element of Syrians. Where, where do Syrians fit into this? Uh, you know, they seem to be nothing but a footnote here. You know, we're talking about Turkey advancing to sovereign Syrian territory. We're talking about Americans giving them the green light. We're talking about Kurds feeling um, stabbed in the back and disappointed. And then once, you know, for a second, has to almost remind him or herself that, we are talking about Syria, and, and uh, one wonders, w where do Syrians fit into this scenario? Well, that's a very good question. Where do the Syrians fit in? Well, unfortunately, you know, uh, no one seems to be, you know, focused on that. No one seems to be focused on the idea that here we are eight years later, and uh, we, we are yet to initiate uh, a cohesive, systematic uh process of political transition. We are yet to agree. You know, we, we, we've spent two or three years agreeing on a constitutional committee, which is yet to, to, to begin, you know, work, which, which we still have disagreements on its authority and uh, on its mandate. Uh, the, President Assad's re-election is, 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 is almost uh, coming up. And, and we are, you know, so, so here we are. Uh, at what point does the Syrian story, which is supposed to be the foundation for all these stories, become the true attention of the international community. I, th I think this is what's lost in, 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 in translation, so to speak. And now we, we find ourselves consumed with, with a, a mutation almost, a mutation of a mutation. And um, of course, you know, notwithstanding that, it will have a humanitarian price, as all these mutations do. Mm -hmm. You know. Again, uh, we, we will have to be concerned about all, all the civilians that will be, you know, caught up in, in these uh, border conflicts, uh, etc. Absolutely. Omar, thank you for taking the time to speak to us. Uh, Omar Imadi, the deputy director for the Center for Syrian Studies at the University of St. Andrew. Thank you. Next to Tunisia. Where